Good morning. It is day eight of the trip, which means we are starting our second week leg. Some it has flown by, seriously flown by. I think we are on state number, I can't even remember, 19 or 20 or something like that. We have changed our plans a little for the day. So I'm gonna set the camera up and tell you what's happening. Well, isn't that convenient? Look, you can actually see my whole body. We have not been able to do that in a second. We changed the plans a little bit today. Originally, we were gonna go back through Jersey, but instead we changed the plans to go up to Niagara Falls. We're so close, we just couldn't resist. So we're gonna go through New York again. We have some fun things we're gonna do, and we also haven't hit Vermont yet, which we're doing today. We've got a day packed also, full of we stuff. Woke up to a parrot. Our neighbors have a parrot. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I guess we can add petting a parrot to the activities we've managed to do on this trip. That was so cool. You guys, it's like so early in the morning. It's actually dark in this room, but I have not done a doing my makeup on the RV time lapse in a second. So that's what I'm gonna do. And the RV right now is not moving, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. We are headed to a blueberry farm where you can pick your own blueberries and yes. we're pretty pumped about it. I don't actually like blueberries. So <laughs> but it's so fun. But there's so something cool. fun about picking your own food. It's gonna be really cool being able to just pick it or at least I think that's what we can do. And so. we have plenty of people that like blueberries. So <laughs> they'll eat them. It'll be a yummy breakfast. Okay, they just gave us these little buckets. Can you see the, the bucket I have? And Bailey's buckets are here and we get to fill them with blueberries. I'm so excited to pick blueberries. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, we're about to go pick. Look at this, this is so cool. You can kind of tell when they're ripe, when they're like really dark blue and they just kind of pop right off. We're gonna have so many after this. I know, we have so many blueberries. It's so cute and it's really clever. Like people pay to come pick the blueberries for you and eat them. That's pretty smart. But it's also smart because it's like you get fresh blueberries. That's so cool. Blueberry ASMR. Oh, so satisfying that sound. Nice. <laughs> try again, try again. It's delayed because there's a net. Three, two, one. Look at these, these are some plump days. Plump day. <laughs> Out here in the actual wild, we've got influence at Brooklyn McKnight picking blueberries at a blueberry farm. Do you have anything to say? Um, these blueberries are very fun to pick. As she said, fun picking blueberries. Asa's eating more than he is picking. Yeah, this is not my bucket. This is a, I think this is Bailey's bucket. I'm just eating them. <laughs> Do I have blueberry all over my mouth? Okay, show me your buckets. So just the one. I focused only on large ones. Me too. There you go, bro. Nice. Nice. I appreciate that, thank you. I actually picked in total three and a half pounds of blueberries. I don't know if we'll eat three and a half pounds of blueberries, but uh, it was so fun, we couldn't help ourselves. Okay, so I'm in charge of uploading the footage every day, and unfortunately last night we had zero service, like none, and the footage has to be up by like 8 a.m. every morning. It's not looking good right now. It's currently 10.30, and this footage still says it has like 24 hours left which is just horrible so we are driving to a library this is a has free Wi-Fi a random library in the middle of New Hampshire to see if that will help look at how cute this place is <gasps> that's a library I'm staying I am staying in New Hampshire I am in love fresh blueberry farms a library in a cute building it's yellow we're coming back to New Hampshire okay we are coming back I love you New Hampshire running to see if he can find it. He wanted to run and he can't find it. So we're gonna walk back that way. Welcome to Vermont. 
the most hidden state sign we, we have yet to come across. We struggled finding this state sign. We walked like a mile and then back. But <laughs> it is the Green Mountain State. I mean, this scenery is unreal, you guys. Hello. Unfortunately, we we're just passing through because we've got Niagara Falls to hit tonight. So um, we love you. You're beautiful. On we go. This is not gonna be our longest drive day, but because it is like the first week and I have seen so many requests for an RV tour, I'm gonna give you one. So introducing Bailey's RV tour. First stop, mine and Asa's room. It's basically just consists of one ginormous mattress that we have brought our home bedding on. Whenever we stop, this can get pushed out a little and there are some drawers down there, but really most of the stuff just sits on top of the bed because there's not a lot of room. Next stop, bunk beds. Super fancy. This one's mostly used for storage. This one is a sleeping area. This is where Brooklyn sleeps at night. Correction. This is where my uncle Jeremy sleeps at night and when we switch drivers, another driver will sleep in this bed. Because there's not a lot of storage, that's what this is used for. A place you guys are familiar with for the next stop. The famous bathroom where Asa walked in on Brooklyn. <laughs> And you can see the shower on this side. We've got towels hanging up right now. It's difficult to keep all the stuff on the counter when the, the RV's moving, so if you see some things on the floor, that is why. Next up, we've got the kitchen. The kitchen. All this stuff is in the sink so that it doesn't fall on the floor while we drive. Stove and microwave. Our fridge that occasionally decides to fly open while driving. What you would consider a living room and kitchen duo. We've got our lovely couch that Mindy McKnight is modeling for us. And our lovely kitchen table slash bed. Yes, this couch folds down into a bed where somebody sleeps. And then this table gets pushed down at night and turns into a big like full-sized bed and then we've got the loft which is where currently mom and dad sleep we could fit two people up there it's also just a hangout spot for while we're driving and then you've got up front this is where the drivers hang out dad is driving Brooklyn's reading and that my friends ends the RV tour the end it's In our favorite day of the year. One of our favorite National days of the year. National Ice Cream Day. Which means, mm -hmm. of course, we had to make a stop for some ice cream. Also, it's our uncle's birthday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. National Ice Cream Day. Who? You guys, this is like the third time we've seen rock candy pop up. Is it a sign? Do we need to eat some rock candy? If we see it a third time, we're getting it. Yeah, the Mac and Bolios, they, they're going for it. I got a frosted, not a frosted flake, Fruit Loop cone with space cake and cookie monster ice cream. This is like to the most extreme level. I don't know if I can do it. Mmm, so good. Yum, yum, yum. There's live music too, you guys. Pretty dang cool. We went up to Miss Mousy's door. Looks like Asa wasn't the only one that decided to go hard. What'd you get? Peach and peanut butter Oreo. That's the after. Good job, babe. It was so good, but my whole face is sticky. <laughs> he ate that whole thing. I don't... Superstar, superstar, superstar. Can I get a picture? Picture? <laughs> How do you feel? Sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so you know this ice cream? 
cream place was the first one to ever put Oreos in ice cream. What? We are headed to our final stop of the day, which is actually just our RV park. We're headed to drive towards the Niagara Falls, which we're doing like kind of a, I think like a boating excursion tomorrow at Niagara Falls. So this is kind of our final last hurrah. We're driving a long haul, staying the night at Niagara Falls and then doing an adventure tomorrow. Gotta give my Dr. Pepper. I can yeah, wheel to share up. here, have some. with some weather now, haven't we? This is a little, this is pretty bad. Not great, but hey, rain or shine, we're traveling to all 50 states. One of my favorite things is the fact that Asa watches every single day's vlog. These are so fun to watch. They're so fun to watch. I love it. It's so fun. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We're so hungry. Awesome. Here you are. Thank you. No problem. Oh yeah, you know we got the pizza. Just went in there and those guys were super nice. He said that they've been doing this for a long time, making pizza for like 50 years or something and that he said it's pretty awesome. All right, everyone. We are having pizza round two. We we were kind of on the road for a long time today. It was a couple of hours, like I think it was like literally eight hours of driving and nothing sounded better than some warm pizza. So take a look at this mm -hmm. delicious New York pizza. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see how it tastes. Time for pizza. Mmm. Oh, that's some good pizza. 10 out of 10. It's our uncle's birthday on the RV today, so we're doing our very best to make his favorite dessert, which actually happens to be a caramel brownie dessert, which is what they're currently working on making. So, let's see how this turns out. We haven't cooked, or I guess we should, I should say we haven't baked a whole lot in the RV. Happy birthday, dear Jeremy. Hello, you guys. Oh, hello, everyone. We are doing donations tonight. 75,000. Wow. wow. That means we are literally 75% of our way through our goal. And we are, what, on day eight? Eight of, of the our trip. trip. We just could not be more grateful. Your $10, your $25 is Make a really what's making a difference. It really is. And just if you want to donate, you can click the link in our description box. And even just, you know, like I said, $10 makes a huge difference. We were also super.
super grateful for the people who are donating big. All of their names are on the end card if you want to check it out. We have not had any twenty or fifty thousand dollar donations yet, yes. so we are excited to see who's going to be the first one and what we're going to do with it. Don't forget, if you are not in a position where you can donate, do not even worry because all you have to do is subscribe, and we will donate on your behalf. So that way, you can be contributing to this fundraiser and help end period poverty. Because come on, we all want to end period poverty, right, guys? That's True the that. whole point. True that. We are headed to bed, y'all. Tomorrow is a really busy, really crazy day. We have some fun stuff and scary stuff in the morning. And then we do our very first drop off and pick up for new drivers and old drivers. We're saying goodbye to our trusty drivers and we're saying hello to new ones. You guys will see who they are tomorrow. But until then, we are gonna give them some much needed sleep and start new on a fresh week. Good night, y'all.